Rosalyn wants to become an attorney someday. That's her dream in life. Pero mahila ka, kita na na. I I asked her how school, and then she told me that you know uh, some of her classmates or schoolmates tease her for being clever. So she felt sad about it. Sometimes she you know she just cry. She used to cry every time she you know being bullied by other uh, students. So it's hard for her. Tell her that soon she won't have to cry about it anymore. Yeah. Dili na ka mohila kay susunod maopirahan naman ka. Guapa na. Eh. Ikaw na imong kuko. Ay pakita imong pakita na imong kuan ni mo now. Oh, she's worried about her pimples. That's why she's very uh, kind. <laughs> uh, we have to park here because it's very uh, the road there is too tiny, so we cannot go there with a car. So we're gonna walk there. We're gonna walk there, and it takes about maybe half an hour. It's 12:30 in the afternoon, so uh, let's calculate how much time we can arrive. We get there. <laughs> Uh, Ruslan said that after school, uh, she used to, you know, just walk from the school going home. So it will take for her, it will take two hours for her to reach her home. So it's kind of far, right? And that is every day. Be careful. My hapon, sir. Can I morning you, ha? Mo mo kuan misa mo visit misa niyo ha. Amo ang dalon si Roslyn unya sa kuan sa hospital na lang kay admit man yaron. Nagsakay man may gisakyanan mas maka mas kuan siya dali sa iya ha. Dili kay Lisod. Okay ra? What do you say? Uh, I asked permission about you know about Roselyn's interview, and I told her that we will uh, bring Roselyn later, going to the hospital. So she said, he said yes. Okay. We finally made it to Roselyn's house, and this is her home. This is where she lives with her mom and father and one older sister. Dayon miha. And that's her mom. Princess. Princess. San Isidro sa poster. They find they they find out about the they found out about the medical mission of Faces of the Mall through the midwife at the Barangay Health Center in San Isidro. They don't have uh, money for transportation and it's very hard for them to go there. So this time, uh, uh, they, you know, they find ways to get a uh, uh, fare, I mean money, just to get there at the hospital during the screening because Rosalind is now getting, uh, 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 getting uh, older, so uh, they really wanted to have her surgery soon. Their, I mean, the family, uh, their, you know, their means of, uh, uh, because they don't have a job, right? So their means of living is to make this uh, basket, small basket, for like 60 pesos. And they have to sell this one once a week. So sometimes it depends. So mostly they only earn 400 pesos per week. For this one, uh, we will drop 
uh, first, uh, we will stop by first at the National High School okay. because uh, she will have to submit her excuse letter. Okay, that's right. Okay, okay. center ka. During the screening day, they rode a motorbike. They have a motorbike at home, so they take they took that going to the main road to your sister, to her sister's house, and then they take a bus going to the hospital. Uh, I asked Rosalyn and her mom and her sister what would be the big changes after the surgery, what would be the big changes in her daily life. And then she, I mean, they told me that uh, there will be a lot of changes. Uh, she'll be more pretty, and then uh, her classmates won't tease her anymore. No bullying, and she will, she can have uh, lots of friends, and she will be more happy. Finally, we we are here now at the hospital with Rosalind. We're in. She'll be getting her surgery tomorrow. For sure, she's very excited. <laughs>